just because your older brother beats the heck out of you and you fight doesn't mean you're not great friends and love each other and all that. I don't I don't think it's that much different with basketball. Afternoon in the rearview mirror. Abaji from the wing. That's his nine Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. That is a tremendous doubleheader. I was able to catch a little bit of Michigan State in Illinois. It looked like Rocket Watts was back playing a little point guard for the Spartans, and they needed that win badly just for their mental health. And over the back call here on Roy Sam. And I'm not sure how much of the Michigan Ohio State game you watched on Sunday, but I thought that was about as high level a game as we've had in college basketball this season. That was tremendous play by both teams. Yeah, and Michigan is just so good. What a fantastic team. Great back pass by Christian Brown. David McCormack out of the ball game with those two fouls. And Kansas doing a nice job staying in front of drives. Coleman missed from range. The back tap gets his own miss. Kansas on an 11 2 run to open up this four point lead. And with this smaller lineup, Kansas has been able to do a really good job of staying in front of and drive to, to draw help. And what, once you draw help, then you can play drive and kick. What an athlete he is. And at first I was wondering, what is Kai Jones doing? I mean, he threw a bullet pass. And it looked like it was one of those passes that could get intercepted or go out of bounds, but he knew exactly what he was doing. What a great play. Three. Labaji was four for his last 19 from three coming into tonight. He's now three for five. And we talked to Bill Selfo earlier today, and I asked him, is the story of the first half, Bryce Thompson, he's got 11. Yeah, Bryce Thompson's been excellent in this game at both ends. Wilson from the corner. Gets after his own miss. Swoops in. And that's blocked. As Greg Brown stuffs him under the rim. Well, he tried to go to the other side of the rim. And Greg Brown just crushed it. And then sloppy at the offensive end for Texas as Greg Brown couldn't handle the entry pass. Just a big time block here. I mean, he got all ball. That's the only foul trouble here in the first half for Kansas. Brown from the wing. Not sure there should have been a foul called there at all, frankly. Five seconds to go in the half. Greg Brown, straightaway three. Will be a double-digit lead for KU at halftime. Of end, they are making a difference and making it hard on the opposition. Hey. Goes over the back. Well, been scoring in Big 12 games at 18 points a game. Garrett himself picked up his dribble. Got a switch. Easy post up. Play. Down, down the lane. Tried to dunk it from distance. And a foul was called. Yeah, that's a good call. That had to be a foul. What an amazing takeoff that was. I mean, if he could have completed that. Yeah, now here's the here's a little ball screen, a handoff, and then switch. And that's just way too easy. Great Brown's got to fight, and, and you can't just sell out there. You got to fight for position and hold your ground. He's just a freshman, but that's the next step for him is to be able to accept that physical challenge of a player like David McCormack. You're going to have to fight bigger guys, and if if Greg Brown's going to be in the NBA at some point in the future, he might even be the near future. He's going to have to get stronger and fight in there. 
thought it was an interesting point that Shaka Smart made earlier today. Said that, you know, Greg Brown didn't go to one of the big, gigantic basketball factories. He stayed in Austin and went to a high school in Austin. So he didn't play against monster competition in high school. He basically didn't play against him. As Abaji tries another three and knocks down his fifth. And I guess there's that adjustment period, right? When you get to the Big 12, some guys are playing in high school against Big 12 level competition, and that was not what Greg Brown faced. He's got another three, though. Well, he's got a ton of ability. Yeah, he's fourth in the Big 12 in rebounding. He averages just under eight rebounds a game. He's fourth in blocks. This is just way too easy. Hey. Texas got lucky there. Would be an early entry into the NBA. Maybe not after his first year, but certainly before he graduated. He's been here four years. His trajectory and his timeline has been a little bit different than, than Bombas and Hayes's. But he's had an excellent career. And